We'll cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes on KBOI 2 News this morning. Did you have something to say, Brian? <laughs> nope. I was just going to say we cover weather and traffic. All right. Okay. It's always the battle to say it first. <laughs> it is. It sure is. Okay, Denny. Well, we are covering really nice weather mm -hmm. this week, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely are. And, uh, I mean, you know, he said it best. That river is cold and fast. Yeah. And, and, you know, we're dealing with the same stuff here. And so, obviously, as we get on this warming trend and kick temperatures into the mid 80s. I mean, that's a very warm day, so there's a lot of snow that's going to be coming down out of the high country. So we will continue to monitor those river levels, but I think at the same time, a lot of us are interested in these warming temperatures. So we'll okay. show you what's happening here over the next five days. There we go, up the ladder uh, to the mid 80s by Thursday and then cooling off just slightly for Friday, but the weekend looks a little bit different. So we're kind of going up and then right back down over the course of five days. But these next several are going to be really nice. Uh, so enjoy them. Keep in mind our normal temperature for this time of the year is 67. We're at 48 outside right now. Still some clouds draped over the skyline there just east of Boise. Same for McCall, but starting to see clearing conditions up there in Sun Valley. Temperatures in the mountains are a bit cold this morning. 30s, uh, pretty typical for this time of the year. We're in the upper 40s to low 50s across southwest Idaho. For us here, again, calm winds. Still seeing some light clouds out there. I think that they'll start to break apart as we head through the morning, but we've seen a couple of spotty showers overnight. Really just little sprinkles out there uh, just east of Boise and Elmore County and also kind of lining the Owyhees, but very quiet uh, to start the morning. No other shower activity expected today. We just kind of had that very weak system push through overnight. Instead, what we're going to get is high pressure building in from the southwest. So uh, this is our friend. This is going to bring us warmer weather, not just to today and tomorrow, but as we head into Thursday and Friday, especially uh, we'll notice this amplifying itself as it comes inland. So Storm track staying to the north and west of us. So everything you see here on the future cast will stay out of our immediate area. Some of it reaching over into eastern Oregon, but not really getting much further than that. As we head toward Wednesday, some more rain up along the Pacific Northwest and up on the Canadian coastline there. We're staying mostly dry, so really not much to show you all the way through Friday. You can start to see hints of changes. Some more precipitation starts to spread inland a little bit on Friday. I think our uh, first shot at shower activity coming for us Friday afternoon into Saturday. But right now everything just looking like a slight chance. We're still a few days away, so want to get a better key and handle on that timing uh, to know how it might impact your Friday afternoon and evening plans for Cinco de Mayo and everything coming our way this weekend. For today, though, no problems whatsoever. This is going to be a very comfortable day. We described it earlier as kind of one of those Goldilocks days. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. And uh, plenty of sunshine to go along with it. We're looking at mostly sunny skies. A little bit of a breeze out there that could make it feel a bit chilly just at times, especially this morning. Uh, but the winds will be gusting no higher than about 25 miles an hour. Partly cloudy this evening, breezy, but still comfortable. Temp in the 50s will cool off only back into the upper 40s a little bit later on tonight. Otherwise, low 60s for the Magic Valley will be in the 50s in the mountains and uh, mid to upper 60s, a little closer to home here in the Treasure Valley. So warmer tomorrow. We also lose the wind, so it'll feel like mid 70s tomorrow afternoon. I'm loving that day in the forecast. We'll get one day in the 70s and then up to the 80s we go. Toasty on Thursday with plenty of sunshine and a high of 84. So almost mid 80s by Thursday. We'll keep the low 80s around for one more day on Friday. Should be a decent day, but could see a couple of storms trying to fire up in the afternoon with a little bit of instability and those warmer temperatures. We're back to the upper 60s for the weekend. Slight chance of showers. We'll keep an eye on that as we get closer and then low 70s for early night.